To get started with PhoneGap and PhoneGap Build, download the starter app that you can find on this website, github.com slash PhoneGap slash PhoneGap hyphen start. Click this zip button to download the files to your local computer. And when you've unzipped them, you should have a set of files like this. Select all of the files except readme.md and gitignore and paste them into the site root of a new site in Dreamweaver. Your new site should look like this. You always need to create a new site for a PhoneGap app and the front page of the app should always be called index.html. Let's just open it to see how it looks. In the head of the document there are links to several external JavaScript files. The first one is to phonegap.js, but if you click phonegap.js in the related files toolbar, you'll see that it's not on the local disk. This isn't a problem. You don't actually need a local copy of phonegap.js, but phonegap build looks for this link in the site root and needs it in order to compile the app. The main code for this app is in app.js and basically it looks for a network connection and if there is a network connection it then uses the geolocation API to find out where you are and then display a map. To compile the app PhoneGap build needs an XML file called config.xml. Let's just open that. The root element of the XML file is widget. The first two lines inside the widget opening tag are namespaces which should be left as they are but you need to change the value of ID. This is a reverse domain ID. The domain of my personal website is foundationphp.com so I would change this to com.foundationphp. And then at the end a name for the app so I'll call this starter. and it will be my version 1.00. The name element is what you're going to call your app, so I'll change that to my first app, and then a description of it, a simple geolocation app, And then author is the name of the person who created it. I didn't create it, so I'll leave the credits to Andrew Lunny. Icon refers to the icon that you want to use for the app, and these feature elements are the PhoneGap plugins that you want to use. In this case, it's geolocation and network. Finally, this preference sets the orientation to portrait. There's a detailed explanation of all these options in config.html, in the documentation on the PhoneGap Build website. If you log in and go to the documentation, there's this link here using config XML, and this gives you all the essential properties. You need to have widget, name, and description. Everything else is optional, but all the details are in here for you to study at your leisure. So let's go back to Dreamweaver and make sure that we save config XML and then go to the site menu, PhoneGap build service, and select PhoneGap build service from the submenu. And then you need to log in to PhoneGap build. Because this is a new app, the PhoneGap build service tells you that a project settings file hasn't been found. There's only one option, create as new project. So continue. And then it starts building the app for different operating systems. You can't specify the order in which they're built. And it says here for iOS that a signing key is required. It's not because I'm using a Windows version of Dreamweaver that iOS hasn't been built, but because I haven't got a signing key. And to do that, you need an Apple developer account for iOS and to generate a digital certificate and provisioning profile on a Mac. But one by one, all the others are being built. BlackBerry seems to be taking its time. 
and for some reason we've got a build error with BlackBerry. Let's see what the problem is. It said that was a signing timeout. Well, I'm not particularly worried about BlackBerry, so I'll click go back to build panel. The panel tells me that it has built an app for Android, for WebOS, and also for Symbian. And if I click the down arrow, I can download the application. But far more interesting is this option here, view QR code. If I press that, it then gives me a QR code. And if I've got a barcode scanner on my Android device, I can load it directly onto that device. I've tested this on my Android phone, and it's much quicker and easier than trying to load it through a USB cable. However, before you can load an app from PhoneGap Build with a QR code like this, you need to open your Android settings, go to Applications, and select Unknown Sources to allow installation of applications that haven't been downloaded from the Android market. Now let's just quickly go back to the Build panel. In the case of WebOS and Android, there are two other icons, the right-facing arrow, and this allows you to emulate the application. To do so, you need to download and install the Android SDK and the WebOS SDK, and then you can go to Site, PhoneGap Build Service, and select PhoneGap Build Settings. And here is where you register the root paths to the Android and WebOS SDKs. You don't need to register both emulators, just one will do. If you only want to test on WebOS with an emulator, then just add that location there. The same with Android. Although you can test your apps on an emulator, it's a poor substitute for testing on a real device. And the Android emulator is notoriously slow, often taking several minutes to load. I'm just going to close that. If you make any changes to the application, you can click this Rebuild Application icon, and it restarts the whole process, building a new version for each operating system. If you want to rebuild just one version, log in to the PhoneGap Build website, and then you can go to your application and deal with each one individually here. You also need to log into this site to provide signing certificates, such as for iOS, or if you're planning to deploy on the Android market, you'll also need a signing certificate for Android. So that's how you convert HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files into a native app using the PhoneGap Build Service panel in Dreamweaver CS6. The front page of the app must be called index.html, and it should have a script tag in the head of the page that points to phonegap.js in the site root but you don't need a local copy of PhoneGap.js. Also make sure that you've got a configuration file called config.xml. After logging into PhoneGap Build, create a project settings file if one doesn't already exist, then just sit back and wait for PhoneGap Build to create your app files, which you can download or load directly onto a mobile device using the QR code.